Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I welcome all of you to our Hadith class. In this class, we will study Hadith from eight books. The name of the first book is Sahih al-Bukhari. In Islam, after the Holy Quran, the book of most importance is Sahih al-Bukhari. So we will study that book in this class as well, inshallah. <clears throat> then we will study Sahih al-Muslim as well. So after Sahih Bukhari, the most authentic book in Islam is Sahih al-Muslim. <clears throat> And then here I have written some name in for another class. Okay, so we will also study the these books: Sunan Abi Daud, Sunan Isai, Jamia Tirmizi, Sunan Ibn Majah, Masnad Imam Ahmad, Mishkat Al Masabi. These are total eight books that we are going to study in this course. Now the <clears throat> what is the main aim of this course or this class what is the aim or goal or you can say target of this class <clears throat> in islam if you know that our Islam is completely in Quran and Hadith. So today, Alhamdulillah, most of the Muslims study Quran. If if they don't study Quran in daily days, normal days, then they study in Ramzan as well. But the Muslims lag behind in Hadith reading. Most of them even don't know the name of the Hadith books. So in this class, the main goal of this class is that we want you to get back to the knowledge of hadith so here we will study hadith then we will write short questions and answers for every hadith that we will study in this class now the these short questions and answers <clears throat> will be related to your daily life for example, whatever situation you will face in your daily life, you will have its answer from Andes. So the main purpose of this class is <clears throat> that whenever you face any situation in your daily life, you know what to do from the Andes. And Islam also asks you to do everything in the light of Quran and Andes. So we Muslim instead of uh, using our own thinking our own thoughts we take help from quran and hadith to make our decisions and we will not give any lengthy long sermons in this class <clears throat> we will keep everything short simple and precise inshallah no lengthy sermons What do you need for this class? You need a notebook and of course a pen to write things. You can also write question and answer on your devices like laptop, mobile, whatever you prefer. You will write these questions and answers and in the next class, I will ask you the answers of these questions. So make sure whatever we study in this class, you write it so that it stays in your mind. Otherwise, you will forget it before the next class. And our class days are 
Monday and Tuesday. Time will be same, inshallah. Sometime we will have to adjust the time according to the prayer of Isha Salah. Prayer, as you know, prayer timing changes. So we will adjust the time according to that. But days will remain same, inshallah, Monday and Tuesday. <clears throat> now, if any of you has any question regarding the class, they can ask me. Then we will begin our class, inshallah. <coughs> Today we will study the ahadith from the book. Name is Sunan at tirmizi It is also known as Jamia tirmizi So you all better first write the name Sunan at tirmizi Most of you are studying in my Arabic class, but you are all still new. And level of all of you is beginner level in Arabic language. But the Arabic used in Hadith is advanced level. So this means you cannot read Hadith in Arabic for the time being. Maybe in future you will be able to read Hadith in Arabic as well, inshallah. So for now on, we will study Hadith in English language so that it becomes easy for you. First student we have is Anusha Akhtar. Arkam Azmi. And one more thing, I know most of the people are busy on Monday and Tuesday. So we may change the days to Saturday and Sunday so on. The ease of people. <laughs> Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, read the first hadith here. Haddathana Hannad ibn Hannad ibn English language because most of the students does, don't know Arabic language. Okay, Ustad. 617. Hmm. Abu Dar narrated, I came to the messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, while he was sitting in the shade of the Kaaba, he said, he saw me approaching and he said, they are lost on the day of judgment. By the Lord of the Kaaba, he said, I say to myself, woe is me. Perhaps something has been revealed about me. He said, so I said, who are they? And may my father and mother be ransomed for you. So the messenger of Allah said, they are those who have much except for who says like this, and this, and this, and motioned with his hand to his front, and to his right, and to his left. Then he said, by the one in whose hand is my soul, no man will die, leaving a camel or a cow, that he did not pay zakat on, except that it will come on the day. Okay, there is some... Uh, so I want to learn 619 also. No, actually, there is some issue with this uh, PDF, so that next page is missing here. But okay, I will write the question for you all. Okay, Ustaz. So now we need to write the question regarding this hadith. So here the first thing which is mentioned here. They are lost on the day of judgment. So we need to write some question for this. So the first question that we will write here.
who who will be in loss on the day of resurrection so who will be in loss on the day of resurrection the question is who will be in loss on the day of resurrection in the answer you will write according to the hadith 617 of Jamia Tirmizi <coughs> those who have much wealth but they don't give charities they will be in loss so in the answer you will write according to the hadith number 617 of Jamia Tirmizi those who have much wealth but they don't give any charity from it they will be in loss Next student, uh, Miss Maria. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum So tell me who will be in loss on the day of resurrection? Sir, uh, well, first time join. I have no idea. I just told you the answer. Didn't you write any answer? Do you have any pen or notebook with you? No, sir. I, I have no idea. First uh, um, join. First time. First it is, day. It is the first day for all students, okay? So, next time, kindly bring a notebook as well, okay? Today yes, is our sir, first class. Okay. Next student. Sabina Huck, did you write the answer? Yes, sir. Um, yes, according to the hadith uh, uh, 617, Jamiyatul Tirmizi, uh, those who have much wealth but they don't give any charity from it, they will be in loss. Okay. Now, Ms. Sabina, read this one. Uh, what has been related about when you pay to the path, you have fulfilled what is required of you. 618, Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet said, Peace be upon you. <clears throat> when you pay the zakat, you have fulfilled what is required of you. Okay. Abu Isa said, What is necessary? What is necessary? The second question that you write here. 
what is necessary to be taken out from the wealth. <clears throat> The second question that you will write here. What is necessary to be taken out from the from our wealth? <clears throat> the answer that you will write here. According to the Hadith number 618, we must pay zakah. According to the Hadith number 618, we must pay zakah. Next student to Miss Sara. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum What is the second yeah. question? Second or uh, or or three? Second. Second. What's necessary to be taken out from the world? Be uh, zaka. Yes, we have to take out the cow from it. Okay. Yes. But uh, I don't understand uh, any question from any uh, from any hadith, not one hadith. That's right. Yeah, this question is from hadith number six hundred eighteen. Yes, yes. So, so all the questions uh, from any yeah, we choose any hadith and they get a solution. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now read this hadith. Miss Missara. Yes. Read Me? This. Yes. No. Anas, uh, are you read? Yes. Okay. Anas narrated, we use the two hope that an intelligent Bidyan would show up to question the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam while we were with him. So once while we were with him a buddhian came kneeling in a buddhian what arabi Abu... arabi no uh, in arabic what al arabi they are doing in english arabi ah. in arabic ah al arabi al arabi in english buddhian yes yes I must carry a reading. Front of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Here, read from should I, should I read it? Yes. Yes. Front of mm -hmm. the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he said, Oh, Muhammad, your messenger came to us and told us that you say that Allah sent you. Sent you. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Yes. He said, So we are by the one who raised the heaviness and spread out the earth and er erected. Erected, erected the mountains has Allah sent you the Prophet Sallallahu said yes he said your messengers are five prayers require, required from us in a day and a night the Prophet Sallallahu said, yes. He said, by the one who sent you, has Allah ordered that for you? He said, yes. He said, your messenger, your messenger told us that you say that we are required to fast for a month out of the year. He said, he told the truth. He said, by the one who sent you, 
has Allah ordered that for you. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, he said, your messenger told us that zakah is come from our wealth. Mandatory, necessary from our wealth. Okay? Necessary from our wealth. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he told the truth. He said, by the one who sent you, has Allah ordered you that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, he said, your messenger told us that you say that we are required to perform Hajj to Allah's house. If, if able to undertake the journey, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, he said, by the one who sent you, has Allah commanded, commanded you that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, so he said, by the one who sent you with the truth, I will not leave any of them, nor surpass, surpass them. Then he got up, Quickly leaving the Prophet Sallallahu If the Bedouin told truth. Said if the Bedouin told the, the truth, then he will enter paradise. Paradise, okay, good. So mm -hmm. here, five things are mentioned which are necessary for Muslims to do. <clears throat> what are the Five necessary things for Muslims. What are the five necessary things for Muslim? The question is, what are the five necessary things for Muslim? According to the Hadith 619, the five pillars Tawheed, Salah, Fasting, Hajj. Stad, can I put Saum? Yes, you can put Saum as well, no problem. If you know the Arabic word, good. <clears throat> you can use that as well. <clears throat> Fasting or Saum. Hajj, Zakah. The answer is the according to the Hadith six hundred nineteen. The five necessary things are Tawheed, Salah, Siyam. Zoka Hajj. Anusha Akhtar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So tell me what are the five necessary things for Muslims? Uh, according to uh, Hadith number 619. Uh, it is Tawheed, Salah, Fasting, Hajj, and Zakah. Okay. <clears throat> now read this Hadith. What has been related about the Zakat on gold and silver? Ali narrated that the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Allah Wasallam said, I have exempted the charity on horses and slaves. So bring charity for silver, one dirham for every 40 dirham. There is nothing for me to collect on 190 dirham. So when it reaches 200, then five dirham of it are due. Yeah, the general quantity for zakah is mentioned. So we will write this. What, what 
is the general quantity of zakka the answer is so the question is what is the general quantity of zakka or you can just write what is the quantity of zakka or you can also write how much is the zakka how much is the zakka the answer is zakka is 2.5% <clears throat> Zaka is two point five percent. Akram Arkam Azmi. What is the general quantity of Zaka? Yes. Zaka is two point five percent. Yes, two point five percent. Now read this one. What has been related about zakat on camels and sheep? A zuhuri narrated from Sal Salim from his father. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a letter written about charity. But he had not dispatched it to his governors until he died. He kept it. He kept it with him along with his word. When he died, Abu Bakr implemented it until he died. Yes, did Umar until he died. In it was a sheep is due on five camels, two sheep on ten, three sheep on fifteen, four sheep for twenty, a bint makhad on twenty-five to thirty-five. When it is more than that, then a bint laboon is due till the number of camels reaches forty-five. When it is more than that, then a hikkah until sixty. When it is more than that, then a jadda until seventy-five. When it is more than that, then two bint labun until ninety. When it is more than that, then two hikkah until one hundred and twenty. When it is more than one hundred and twenty, then a hikkah on every fifty and a bint labun on every forty. We can't hear you now. Why is that? Do you hear us? I think. Yes. Okay, continue reading. For sheep, one sheep is due for every 40 sheep until 120. When it is more than that, then two sheep until 200. When it is more than that, then three sheep until 300 sheep. When it is more than 300 sheep, then a sheep on every 100 sheep. Then there is nothing until it reaches 400. There is no combining the property of individuals nor separating the collective property fearing sadaqah. And for whatever is mixed together, the two own, then they... A female camel of one year. Leave that. I refer to the total. I refer to the total. Neither an old or defective animal may be taken for charity. Hassan. Okay. So in this hadith, the zakah for animals, especially camel and sheep, are mentioned in detail. But in simple word, you can still use this method of calculating the car the car is 2.5 percent of whatever you have okay 
So if you want to do that method, you can calculate the cow on animals, especially camels and sheep. According to this hadith, you can calculate that as well. Here the uh, results of different quantities of animals is mentioned. So you can use these results for zakah. Or you can calculate it yourself using the 2.5% of whatever you have. Okay. So these are the questions that we studied today. If anybody has any question, they can ask me. We will continue next time, inshallah. So I have a question about Zaka. Yes. That is, uh, for example, okay, 2.5 percent. Of say, uh, I have uh, some belt gold, say, 10 kgs. Okay, so uh, out of which I am giving 2.5. Yes. So my question is, um, 2.5 of 10 kgs I have given. So um, I should give only 2.5, or uh, it is more than that because. I mean, uh, some say that uh, uh, it is, uh, I mean, uh, it is more, you have to get, give rest of the thing, uh, I mean, uh, above seven, whatever is there, you have to give uh, extra. 2.5% of the total is necessary. Total amount, yes. Okay, whatever you have is 2.5% of that total things is and necessary. if it increases, if it increases, then uh, simultaneously 2.5 percent will also increase. Yes. So 2.5 will be calculated on total whatever you have. You will combine it, okay. and then you will take 2.5 percent out of it. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, one thing I want to ask all of you, often now people are busy on Monday and Tuesday. Shall we change the days to Saturday and Sunday? What is your suggestion? So Saturday and Sunday, we are busy actually. Those are holidays for uh, our children okay. and our husbands. So we are usually busy with them. What about other ladies? This class is okay in this in these days. Okay, so two ladies want the same day. Because we are all almost bunk in Saturday and Sunday. Okay. What about others? Akram, KK, Khan. This time is good. Uh, good, sir. Okay, you also want the same. Okay, we will keep the same time, inshallah. So see you next Monday. At the same time, we will continue. Jazakallah. Hai If anyone has written these answers, then you better send me the picture on WhatsApp so that I can share it with others.